Hey everybody, this is Adam Bomb with Adam Bomb Breaks, and we've been waiting on these for a very, very long time. Wednesday, they finally came out. That's right, Topps Chrome Platinum for 2022. March, late February, early March was the pre-order date for these. I hope, I hope they're as good as everybody says. I've been watching a lot of these get open, and they are loaded with color. Loaded, loaded, loaded. So we're going to open up one today. Let's get cooking. Let's go. And I will be collecting this set as I am doing the 2021, but I won't actually put any huge effort into it until later on in uh, once I finish 2021. I'm hoping 2021 prices continue to drop. Um, this is a light box. Uh, four exclusive mini black and white diamond, mini diamonds, refractors. Uh, the rest of the odds are actually on the packs this time. This is 1953 design. Uh, you're going to look for... Uh, does it say it on here? Yeah. 16 packs per box, 8 cards per... Or 4 cards per pack. So literally this thing is half full. Um, usually it has a big piece of cardboard underneath it. Um, these also have the opportunity at pink autographs. Only place you can get them. Um, and those are going to be numbered to 15. Very, very tough pulls. So it's styrofoam this year. Same difference. Um, the reason I wanted to do this more than anything, no one has done this yet. No one has pulled and said, here is the odds. And I needed the odds. So autographs are 1 in 298. Um, let's see. Let's do some quick math. There's 16 box per or 16 packs per box and 16 cases. So we said it was 298. 298 divided by 16. Uh, a little less. Well, I kind of did that wrong. 298 divided by 16. 18.6 boxes. So not every case, but close. Uh, so we're going to have a good chance of every case. And we have a case of this. Um, we'll be sprinkling it in. Uh, currently selling a half case on our Facebook page. Uh, that's pick your team. And Seattle is randomized to everybody. So if you want to get into that, head on over to the Facebook and that is up in the top right hand corner the name of the group starting off good with a gold why not Kyle Muller good rookie Austin Riley uh, playing extremely well right now and this is the yellow wave ray wave I think is what they're calling it and it's the highest number 45 out of 250 uh, but let's keep a, a watch on what kind of numbered parallels we get uh, the hobby boxes are averaging about seven i'm not kidding you seven ronnie dawson pull the one of one of his and then pedro 500 uh 500 cards in the set this year usually the front end let's just check yeah nope they didn't do it this year the front end last year was all the rookies like the first hundred cards were all rookies and uh, they were numerical by team, which was interesting. Uh, all right, we have our first mini diamond, Dalton Varsho. Brandon Woodruff is the mini diamond. Pujols and Larry Doby. And this is kind of cool. You got your rookies, you got your vets, you got Hall of Famers, some just, you know, all-time great type people, maybe not quite Hall of Famers, Hall of Goods, Frankie Lindor, Pavin Smith, Teoscar Hernandez, and number 40, Chipper Jones. And these are, they look like they're touched up photos, like digital enhanced photos, because these aren't just straight. They have, this is definitely thick, there's something in this one. Yeah, so let's see what this is going to be. Refractor, Clayton Kershaw, nice. Jorge Posada, is that going to be numbered? No, not at all. Just a bow, huh? And TJ Friddle, good player there. Sneaky good. 
Uh, it, it has seemed like it's hard to pull the Bobby Witts and whatnot. Again, it is a 500 card set. You're only getting, you know, a, a finite number of cards four times 16. That's uh, 64 cards. So not a ton of cards in these boxes. And, ooh, nice Ichiro on the green. And this is the Tool or Tule is what they call 88 out of 99 on that Ichiro. Now, this definitely is thicker. Um, I don't know. Is it going to fit in these 50? Yeah, well, it still fits. These are uh, not too awful thick where they won't uh, house the cards. All right, so we have two already, which is more than what you'd get last year. Last year, you'd get uh, one. One number parallel, and there was some exclusives to this as well, like the blue prism that was unnumbered. Um, and you'd get one of those. Um, I can't remember this year. Oh, okay, say so this Edgar is also going to be numbered because it's not the black and white. So that's the speckle. 54 out of 150. Rojas and Andre Jackson 5000 who's pitching today this is recorded on Saturday and uh, he is making a start today well, that's pretty cool two Hall of Famers for Seattle uh, we will have this of course in breaks um, and go from there as well maybe some personals I don't know we'll have to figure it all out uh, Another black and white mini diamond. Uh, Paul Canerco. Pull from the back here. Dustin Pedroia. Jake Myers. And it's a rookie, Matt Verling. Yep. I might know a guy that wants this card. Might know a guy that wants this card. We'll uh, sleeve him up and top load him. Definitely a rookie. He's doing pretty well for Detroit. Uh, one of those casualties that we've got too many people and you've got to go. Really liking this stuff so far. Uh, another rookie on the back. Sean Murphy, Schwarber, and our rookie, Romy Gonzalez. Not who we were looking for. Um, Jake Berger, really. That's who I'd be looking for. Dude has almost 30 home runs. Last I looked, it was 28, but that's been a week or so. Canerco. Joey Votto on the refractor. Ron Santo and Vita Blue. Lots of Hall of Good players as well. I don't think Ron Santo is in the Hall of Fame. Could be wrong though. Tell me in the comments, I'm sure you will. Cody Bellinger, Armin Killebrew, and we're gonna flip. Ooh, we got a blue of that uh, pattern one. Oakland Athletics. Conseco? No, Jed Lowry. Not who we're looking for. Uh, 69 out of 199. So we're up to four numbered parallels in this box. Uh, they did add more. Um, that's one thing. I'm going to produce a video. I needed this to kind of finish my numbers out. But they did add more parallels so that would become more prevalent. But they reduced the number of autos and they also reduced the number of cards. Uh, I think it was 164, and they're down to 144 on the autos. Kelnick. Oh, nice Chipper Jones. Jose Miranda. And Bo Bichette. Um, and then, of course, like I said, they're down from 700 to 500 on the actual cards in the set. No inserts, which I kind of like. It's just straight up. This is what you get. And then you get the one X-Fractor per box. Kyle Tucker. Uh, Mike Trout, oh yeah. Conseco and Anthony Bender. I was pretty high on him when uh, 2022 Series 1. Looked like he might be a good pitcher. Um, turned out, can't even be a reliever in the Major League. That is not numbered. Sleep up chipper. So we got one more black and white. Maybe another color. I, I want to say there's five. You're getting a ton of parallels. So you're getting the four plus the X-Fractor and four numbered cards. And two refractors, it looks like. If not more, Gavin Sheets. Oliver Ortega. Uh, never heard of her. Oh, there's a Julio. Finally. Now, Julio looks tired in this picture. Um, looks tired. 
Was this at the end of last year that they took the picture and, and brushed it up some? I don't know. And what do we have here on the flip? Peyton Henry Potato Auto. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody needs a potato auto in their life. Oliver Ortega. Pitcher? Number 21. Uh, yeah, he's definitely a pitcher. Yeah, it says it on the front, too. Three more packs. I'm extremely happy with this. I, you know, I could do for with some Mets, Frank Viola on the parallels. Carlos Delgado, Hunter Green, there we go. And Joe Musgrove on the back. Flamethrower Hunter Green for the Cincinnati Reds. Ralph Kiner. We got another turned around card. Bring it from the back. Nelson Cruz, Ralph Kiner, Whitey Ford, and Nick Castellanos is just a base. And that's one thing I'm noticing. They turn these things right, left, and every which way. And this is very thin. It doesn't even feel like it has enough cards in the pack. Uh, it does. It feels like it doesn't. Lars Newt Bar. Liam Hendricks. So you got three of those, I guess. We'll probably go back through Matt Brash and Michael Jack Smith. Let's go through and just look real quick on the refractor. So there's one, two, three refractors, one X fractor, um, four numbered cards, and then the four. All right, let's just, we're going to pile them up. So there's those three. Uh, here's the three other mini diamonds. A little longer than a few minutes later. Yeah, I kind of messed up. I had that camera on non-focus the entire time, or auto-focus, which sometimes it works, but these Chrome cards, it doesn't like it. So just to go through here, show you guys what it actually looks like. Everson Oliver Ortega on the silver. So we did get Joey Votto, Clayton Kershaw, and Liam Hendricks also on the silver. So that's four of those. Then we got our four black and white mini diamonds, Matt Verling, Carlos De uh, Delgado, Chipper Jones, and Brandon Woodruff. And we got three rookies, Julio Hunter and Lars. Okay. And that's the Verling. Um, then we got the Anthony Bender also. But the numbered cards, we got four. Like I said last year, you're getting about one. <laughs> one numbered card, and then you got the blue uh, prism which was unnumbered uh, so we did get the austin riley who is smashing the ball right now to 250 jed lowry to 199 um, edgar martinez to 150 ichiro to 99 i'll probably have these up on the ebay eventually or if you're interested in let me know uh we can make a trade or, or just sell them, whatever you want to do. But, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, lots of potential in these. Uh, with the decrease in autos and the set, uh, this will be another fun set to collect. And that's what I'm probably going to do. All right, guys, let me know what you think. What have you pulled or what have you seen pulled even? Uh, these are just going to be really hot for a while. Um, we've got a case of hobby and a case of uh, light uh, well minus one because <laughs> I got to keep one all right guys uh, give me a, a like if you would that would be greatly appreciated help this channel get that boost that we need to get going and be a, a one of the better content providers out there also uh, subscribe if you haven't uh, we do uh, also have a patreon if you're interested in that information is in the description uh, you can go check that out. Uh, we do uh, basically free breaks for those guys uh, twice a month where we just give away boxes of cards that we're opening as first looks. So, guys, thank you so much. As always, be kind, be nice to those around you, and peace out.